All right, it's time to celebrate Cinco de Mayo at a local place that transports you from the city to some very popular Mexican beach destination. Yeah, and we're going to be talking about not only good food and drinks, but also uh, the ambiance of this place. It's called De Buena Planta, and our producer, Nancy, officially said she's in love with the place. It's in Silver Lake, uh, and we have two beautiful ladies with us today, Executive Chef Shaza Smith, Correct. and then also Director of Operations, Kara Hendrick. Good yeah. to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah, Thank thanks you for, for being us. here. Yeah. Okay, so during COVID, this was essentially a pop-up. Correct. And then you guys now made it a, a real restaurant for the most part. Uh, yes, and, yes. and the ambiance I hear is spectacular. It's it's so special. You know, the whole brainchild behind this pop-up was just to give people an escape from the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, when the alfresco permits were given out, we had a little parking lot across the street from Butcher's Daughter, which is our home restaurant in Venice Beach. And we just made it into this little Sayulita Toto Santos retreat, um, simple street food, tacos, really incredible escape and we're so excited to be in Silver Lake. We have 5,000 square feet of just wow. beautiful secret garden patio. And it's not all vegan, it's vegan friendly. You Correct. also yeah. have vegetarian and other options. Yes. So yeah, well, great. As sister restaurant to Butcher's Daughter, we're fully vegetarian. Mm -hmm. We use dairy in house and um, we're plant forward. Yeah. So almost everything can be made vegan on the menu. Well, Shasta, yeah. tell us about the menu and the food you brought here today. Awesome. Well, our menu is 80% vegan, 20% vegetarian. We like to call ourselves plant forward. I brought a couple of items here to represent a little bit of our menu. We have a beautiful ceviche tostada that it's made with mushrooms and cauliflower. We have a very delicious citrus herb salad with jicama and avocado. We also have esquites, which is a street Mexican food. It could be made mm -hmm. vegan. And these are what? These uh, are tostones, platano chips that's that right. we use. That's right. And then one of the hardest things was to create a vegan mole poblano. So we have this delicious. And you brought that for us to taste. Right? Absolutely. And, does, and uh, Glenn has one that's not. That is correct. Okay. So what Glenn has is called mole de la novia. And it's a very obscure mole from the east coast of Mexico. It has white chocolate and stuffed with cauliflower. It has dairy. Buen provecho. I hope you enjoy everything you try. What is mole try? exactly? I remember when I first moved to San Antonio a hundred years ago. I lived there for a while and I wasn't familiar with it. And you know, people used to say mole, right? And they're Correct. like, no, it's mole. <laughs> What exactly is it for the folks who don't know? Mole is a labor of love. Mole is a dish that is created mm. to welcome people. It has over 30 different ingredients. It really varies from region to region. Um, the mole that you're having has actual chocolate, abuelita mm. chocolate, and nuts and seeds and um, different chiles. The mole that you're eating has white chocolate and milk and other types of nuts and seeds. The nobe, uh, sorry, mole de la novia is considered to be the most expensive mole mm. in Mexico. Wait, is novia girlfriend? Novia girlfriend yeah. or the bride. So the they bride. celebrate oh, the bride with okay. that mole. Interesting. Interesting. And then this is, I'm obviously I'm hungry because I'm like, and then what Please is this? enjoy. This is our take on the ceviche tostada. Okay. This is you vegan. This and mm -hmm. when I became plant based, I really craved all the food that I used to be able to eat. Mm -hmm. So this is born out of my own craving. So what are you substituting here? Uh, we have uh, trumpet mushrooms mm -hmm. and cauliflower. Mm. Yes. That's really good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. And then what about desserts? Desserts, I have a flan here. It's a very typical cinnamon Mexican flan. It has dairy and eggs. It just melts in your mouth. Mm. And I am working on a couple of vegan desserts. So we can welcome you Great. to enjoy Well, it. as we look at the drinks, let's talk about the speakeasy. I hear mm. it's a, a, a fun little secret place of the restaurant. It's so beautiful. We have a little speakeasy called La Casita. Behind these beautiful doors, you just are taken away into really a spiritual experience. Um, we try to activate all the five senses with shaken and stirred cocktails um, with the help of one of our friends, Lisa Remba. And, um, these are a few of our cocktails, our Paquita, Cosmo, um, and it's really a, a secret behind another secret, so the experience just keeps going. How did you guys find this space? It seems pretty special. It is. It really is a secret garden. We keep saying that. You know, it was the right place at the right time, and we always look for great outdoors where we can be in nature, and that's really, you know, what our, our hearts long for and what we yeah. typically find. The Cinco de Mayo find. is coming up. How are you guys yeah. celebrating this? So many parties. We have, um, in Venice, we have a DJ from 6 to 9 tonight and a bunch of cocktail specials. 
And then in Venice, because we're new, we have a happy hour from 4 to 6. We have a couple guest musicians from 7 to 7.30, Fabiano Donosimento. Um, and then Adrian Cota, who is our music curator, is there with his whole band starting at 7.30. Oh, wow. And we have music every week, Wednesday, okay. Friday, and Saturday. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we might have to go over there, Nancy. Please. Check that yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, ladies, for Thank being here. So what a, a great name, too. Thank you so much. The yeah. Good Plant. The Good Plant. That is correct. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. All right, to celebrate Cinco de Mayo at De Buena Planta in Silver Lake for live music and special drinks, their Venice pop up location will have a DJ starting at 6 p.m., and you can follow them on social media or go to their website.